So the test for the remote control tug boat are finished. It was great. So we achieved all targets. The tug can be steered from a land station very precisely and safely, and that's important. The Voith Schneider propeller is not just another piece of engineering. It's one of the most accurate and responsive propulsion systems ever designed. A marvel of mechanical precision that continues to shape the world of marine and aerial mobility nearly a century after its creation. The first version appeared in the early 1930s, at a time when the idea of combining propulsion and steering into a single system seemed almost impossible. Yet that's exactly what Voith Schneider achieved. It completely changed how ships could move, maneuver, and control themselves in the water. At its core, the Voith Schneider propeller is built around a simple yet brilliant idea. Instead of fixed blades spinning around a central hub like a normal propeller, this system uses multiple vertical blades that can each change their angle of attack independently. This means that every blade can adjust how it cuts through water at any given moment, producing a highly precise and adjustable thrust vector. The direction and magnitude of that thrust are determined by two factors, the rotation of the rotor and the individual adjustment of the blades. Because of this design, there's no need to reverse the propeller or shift gears. The Voith Schneider can maintain constant rotation in one direction while instantly changing thrust direction. That gives vessels equipped with it an extraordinary degree of control. They can stop, start, or even move sideways without ever changing engine speed. This quick response isn't just convenient, it can also prevent rolling, improve stability, and make operations in crowded or turbulent waters much safer. Traditionally, the system is connected to the ship's main engine through a turbo-hydrodynamic coupling. This setup lets the propeller make full use of the diesel engine's output speed, even when the propeller is under different loads. Essentially, it acts like a smart buffer, ensuring that energy is transferred efficiently and smoothly. That's why ships fitted with Voith Schneider systems are known for their instant reaction and precise maneuvering, qualities highly valued in tugboats, ferries, and offshore support vessels. As marine technology advanced, the Voith Schneider design evolved. The most recent iterations now integrate advanced electric propulsion systems, specifically Permanent Magnet Synchronous Motors PMSMs. These motors are known for maintaining constant speed and delivering remarkable energy efficiency. By switching to electric drive, engineers have managed to eliminate the traditional mechanical drivetrain. No more complex couplings, no more gearboxes, no more energy losses due to friction or mechanical wear. Instead, power flows directly and cleanly from the motor to the propeller. This modernization reflects a larger shift happening across the maritime world, a movement toward electrification, autonomy, and intelligent control systems. The new electric Voith systems allow vessels to operate more quietly, reduce emissions, and fine-tune propulsion with incredible accuracy. They also simplify maintenance because fewer moving parts can wear out. The result is a cleaner, faster, and more efficient version of one of the greatest propulsion systems ever built. Now, while Voith continues refining its legacy design, other companies have been taking inspiration from nature and from the same basic principles to create their own next-generation propulsion concepts. One of the most impressive examples comes from ABB Marine, which has been developing a new type of rotor system that merges biology with cutting-edge computational engineering. Their design is inspired by the motion of a whale's tail, one of nature's most efficient forms of propulsion. Instead of traditional blades spinning in one plane, ABB's design features a large rotating wheel fitted with vertical blades that move in a complex tricycloidal pattern. This movement mimics the oscillating motion of a whale's tail, which can push enormous amounts of water with minimal energy. The result is a propulsion system capable of generating thrust in multiple directions while maintaining exceptional hydrodynamic efficiency. ABB Marine didn't rely on endless physical prototypes to perfect their design. Instead, they turned to Computational Fluid Dynamics CFD, powerful simulations that can replicate real-world fluid behavior inside a digital environment. Using CFD, engineers were able to analyze and optimize every blade movement, flow pattern, and pressure distribution before ever building a prototype. 
This process is similar to what aerospace companies do when designing three deprinted rocket engines, testing hundreds of designs virtually until they find the most efficient one. Thanks to this approach, ABB's system achieved something remarkable. Each blade in their prototype has its own independent electric motor, allowing for real-time adjustments of pitch and thrust angle. This gives the system a reported efficiency of around 80%, which is incredibly high for a propulsion mechanism that doesn't rely on fixed geometry. In trials, ABB's model achieved speeds of up to 18 knots, which is very impressive for this kind of technology. The modular design allows for power outputs between 1 and 4 megawatts, making it suitable for applications ranging from passenger ferries and small cargo ships to research vessels. And because of its electric nature, the system also produces far less vibration and noise, a crucial advantage for scientific vessels that use sonar or operate in sensitive marine environments. Of course, this kind of technology isn't cheap. These systems are far more expensive and complex than standard propellers, so they're unlikely to replace conventional designs on small leisure boats or fishing vessels anytime soon. But for ships that demand precision, power, and responsiveness, like tugboats, icebreakers, or survey ships, this new generation of propulsion might soon become the standard. The real challenge, however, comes when engineers try to take these concepts into the air. The idea of a cycloidal rotor, often called a cyclorotor, has been around for decades, but only recently have improvements in computing. Tunerwal materials and control systems made it realistic for flight. The basic principle remains the same. Multiple rotating blades change their pitch as they spin, generating lift and thrust in any direction. But in the air, every gram matters. Adding too many moving parts makes the aircraft heavier, more complex, and less efficient. That's why companies like Cyclotech have spent years refining the design using CFD and lightweight materials. Their flagship project, known as Blackbird, may be one of the most agile flying machines ever created. The Blackbird uses six cyclo rotors, four mounted at the corners and two near the center, allowing for full 360 degree thrust vectoring. This means the craft can move in any direction, forward, backward, sideways, diagonally, and even hover perfectly still without tilting or banking. The secret lies in control. Each rotor's blades can instantly adjust their pitch to redirect airflow, allowing the aircraft to perform maneuvers that would be impossible for traditional drones or tilt rotor aircraft. It can break mid-air, rotate on its axis, or transition smoothly between hovering and forward flight. The result is a system that combines the stability of a helicopter with the maneuverability of a quadcopter, but without the need for tilting rotors. However, the trade-off is range. Cyclo-rotor aircraft sacrifice efficiency for agility. Unlike tilt-rotor designs, such as those developed by Joby Aviation, which can travel more than 500 miles using hybrid electric systems, cyclo-rotor craft are best suited for short, precise missions. They're not designed for long-distance travel. Instead, they excel in confined spaces, like urban areas, rescue zones, or industrial facilities, where pinpoint control is critical. <laughs> That's why hybrid designs are starting to gain attention. One particularly clever concept comes from Pitch Aeronautics and their Astria drone. Instead of using multiple cyclo rotors, the Astria incorporates just one, placed laterally to provide precise side-to-side -side control. The rest of the drone uses conventional propellers for lift and thrust. This combination gives it the best of both worlds, the efficiency of a standard drone with the maneuverability of a cyclo rotor. The Astria isn't just a cool piece of tech, it's a working tool. The drone is capable of carrying multi-tools or sensors for repairs and inspections. It can approach tall structures like wind turbines, bridges, or power lines with incredible stability, even in gusty conditions. Because it doesn't need to tilt, it can hold a steady position while robotic arms perform maintenance tasks. For industries that rely on precision, 
from energy to telecommunications, this kind of hybrid system could be a game changer. So while it's unlikely that cyclo rotors will completely replace traditional propellers anytime soon, they will undoubtedly find their place in specialized roles. Think of them as the future of precision propulsion, systems designed not for brute force or speed, but for exact control and flexibility. What's most fascinating about this evolution is how the boundaries between marine and aerial propulsion are beginning to blur. The same engineering principles that once guided the Voith Schneider propeller under the sea are now being applied to electric aircraft above it. Both rely on dynamic control of blade angles, both use electric motors for instantaneous response, and both aim to maximize efficiency through intelligent design rather than sheer power. If we follow this trajectory into the near future, it's easy to imagine entire fleets of vessels and drones powered by next-generation cyclo-rotors, quiet, efficient, and responsive. These systems could enable cargo ships that glide silently through ports, rescue drones that hover precisely in storms, and autonomous underwater vehicles that can turn on a dime. From a historical perspective, it's incredible to think that engineers experimenting with a strange, vertically bladed rotor laid the foundation for all of this almost a hundred years ago. The Voith Schneider propeller was not just a product of its time, it was a glimpse into the future. A system so far ahead of its era that even now, with all our modern technology, we're still finding new ways to expand on its genius. And who knows, perhaps the people behind these new advancements, whether at Voith, ABB or Cyclotech, might one day be recognised for their contributions with the world's most prestigious award. Because what they're doing isn't just improving machines, they're redefining how motion itself is engineered. They're turning old principles into living, adaptive systems that bridge the gap between mechanics, computation and nature. So, as we look ahead, the question isn't whether the Voith Schneider or the Cyclo Rotor will dominate, it's how they'll shape the next chapter of propulsion history. From the depths of the ocean to the skies above, they stand as a reminder that even the simplest idea, a rotating blade with a changing angle, can lead to world-changing innovation. If you found this exploration into Nobel-worthy propulsion fascinating, make sure to like the video, share it with fellow science enthusiasts, and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of technology and design.